All right, let's continue with Essential SKSE plugins. Uh, we are going to continue on with Simple Offense Suppression, SKSE plugin that prevents neutral NPCs from turning hostile when you accidentally hit them. Okay, version 2.0, Simple Offense Suppression, download it. Files, let's mod manager download. Okay, and let's install it. All right, and there's some special instructions here. So right click on Simple Offense Suppression, open in Explorer. Uh, so we're going to SKC plugins and we're gonna uh, tweak this INI file here. So we're looking for settings, settings, only combat, only combat set to false. We wanna set that to true. All right, let's go ahead and save it, close it. Close that too, activate that. I forgot to clear this out, let's clear it out. Right click, delete, install downloads. Okay. All right, Skyrim Priority SE, SKSE plugin. This mod makes Skyrim always take most of CPU usage, increase FPS, prevent suddenly lag caused by other processes. Version three. And it's by boring, how boring. Let's download it. <laughs> Uh, version 3, Mod Manager, download, download it. Okay, and let's install it. So much goodness, so much goodness. Skyrim Skill Uncapper. This mod unlocks the skill level caps of 100 and makes some relevant leveling tweaks. Version 1.1. Mod Manager download, download it. Double click to install. Very good, Skyrim Skill and Cupper. And activate it. Spell Perk Item uh, Distributor. An SKSE plugin that can be used to add spells, leveled spells, perks, items, leveled items, shelts, packages, and a partridge and a pear tree to every NPC in the game using config files version 5.0.4. 5 .0 These are both, oh, one's a VR version. So we with the SSE version. It's so good to see so many people uh, supporting uh, Skyrim VR modding. Seems to be the black sheep of the family. All right, so let's go ahead and install it. Very good. Next up, SSE display tweaks, all in one solution for playing at higher frame rates, OSD compatibility, physics fix, borderless full screen performance improvement, refresh rate control, high configurable frame rate limiting, plus a few bug fixes and optimizations. That sounds juicy. Version 4.15-1, let's download it. File. And that'd be this one, very first one. Right, let's install it. Display tweaks, very good. Uh, before we activate it, let's open it. Open it, Explorer, SKSE, plugins. And we want the INI here. And let's look for render, here's render. And we want UI frame rate limit map. Where are you, where are you? Keep scrolling down, keep scrolling down. I'm not seeing it right away. Oh, okay. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna press Control F, and we're gonna type in UI frame. There it is, UI frame limit. But we want map. Oh, there it is right there. UI frame limit map is at zero. We wanna set that to 60. So just add a six. Very nice. Close, define, search, whatever. Click on file, click on, oops, not save as. What are you doing, JJ? Good God, man. File, save, close. Close that too, and activate that. All right, stagger direction fix, SSE, and SKSE plugin that fixed the character's wrong stagger direction bug when the stagger triggered by spell, shot, and range weapon. Okay, let's go and download it. Files. <laughs> Neat. All right, let's install it. Okay, close that out. 
No additional instructions. Okay. SSE engine fixes. SKSE plugin to fix various issues with the Skyrim uh, special edition. And uh, yeah, two parts here. Uh, one we're going to install through mod organizer and one we have to actually um, extract directly into the Skyrim directory. Okay. So let's go on download. Files. All right, let's download part one. Download it. And let's go ahead and install it normally. Very good. This next one, part two, we have to manually download it. Close it up. Let's open up our download folder. There it is. Let's minimize modernizer. Open up our Steam library. Locate Skyrim Special Edition. Open up uh, the zip archive. And drag all of this in Skyrim Special Edition folder and overwrite if asked. Boom. Replace the files. Yes. Boom. Done. Let's close up the Steam library. Bring back Mod Organizer 2. And we have one tweak. Uh, Tommel. Tom. Dot Tom. Whatever. All right. So. Right click on SSE Engine Fixes, open an Explorer, go on to SKSC, Plugins, and then there it is right there, Engine Fixes.toml. Double click. And we're looking for regular quick saves. There it is, regular quick saves right here. Set to false, we want to set that to true. All right. Go ahead and save it and close it. Close that too. And we're good to go with that. Okay, stay at the system page. Updated. This mod brings back the behavior of original Skyrim journal menu. Whenever you press the escape key, the mod will open the system page instead of the quest page. All right, let's go ahead and download that. Main file. Mod manager download. Click download again. Close that up. And let's install it. Right. I'm sure by now you guys are feeling pretty confident on knowing how to install mods in, in uh, using Mod Organizer 2. Super easy, and I don't see how you can go back. All right. Yes, I'm sure. This mod disables annoying message prompts asking you if you're sure you'd like to craft, improve, exit menus. Let's download it. Files. Yes, I'm sure. Mod Manager download. Install it. Activate it. Scale form translation plus plus. This plugin enables native translation nesting present within Sky UI as well as English fallbacks. Very good. Don't know what that is. Files. Mod manager download. Download. And install it. Whose quest is it anyway? Swaps to quest item cannot be removed message for a more descriptive message informing you which quest item belongs to. That is very convenient. Let's go and download that. Files. Mod Manager download. You're going to hear my voice in your dreams, aren't you? <laughs> All right, let's install this. And then activate it. And with that, that concludes... Oops, hit the mic. And with that, that concludes the essential SKSE plugin section of Mod Installation Part 1. In the next video, we're going to jump into the unofficial patches. All right, guys, I will see you in the next video.